on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. I was killing demons and uh, I passed out during battle. Wait, where's my horse? Here, horsey! Damn it, where are you? <laughs> so you garb yourself, boy. <clears throat> what? Ah! A giant! Now that is offensive. Wait, what? The I am not a giant. I am a maker. Uh. Okay. I am. Is. I know who you are, horseman. I saw you uh, as you collapsed. Uh. Okay. So what am I doing here? Uh, your horse brought you here. And uh, I nursed you. Nurse, I wasn't injured in any kind of way. I was just you used up your energy lot. That is what caused it. I always knew that your hmm methods would deal in your downfall. What? Well, you are known for being one of the most rash, besides your sister. What? Hmm. Either way. Let's see here about these little trinkets. Hey, those are mine! Yes? As the yeah, old thing just tosses them straight to his like, Hmm? I'm gonna break it. Did you? I need these. Oh, please, I made them better. Better? How so? Now they shouldn't use up as much as your energy with all that rapid fire you like to use. Really? Why don't I test it out on you? You could, but then I would be forced to break them. And you. Uh. <laughs> Gawky shit, aren't you? I can say a say for you, boy. So, you are strife. I must say, it is nice to meet you. Again. What was that? Nothing. Yeah. <sighs> so, how did you get here? Well, first I died. Really? Yeah, I got set up by my crew, so, huh? Yeah, they want some new management, and I had to go. Well, you don't say. Then this charred council or whatever the hell they call themselves sent me here. At least brought me here to give me the whole rundown of what's what. It's a pain in the ass to me, but oh well. You don't say. Yeah. All I do know, though, is that it is. I don't like them. For some reason, I just don't trust them. Exactly. I don't, I don't know why, but it's a gut feeling I have. Uh, if I listened to my gut before, I wouldn't be here, believe me. I smelled a setup before, but then I decided to let my guard down. 
Trust me, I won't let that happen again once I get back to Earth. Hmm. Well, in that case, you're going to need better weaponry. Excuse me? Yes, I see no problem with me helping you. In fact, here. What's this? I think of it as a way to get back here on the double. Oh, okay, what's it do? Well, whenever you wish to come back to this realm, or to more specifically, me, <clears throat> you can get brought straight here. Which, if I'm not too busy, I will be more than happy to help you. Hmm. So you're a maker, are you? What else do you make besides weapons and enhancements? Well, armor and things very good for killing. What about automatons? Hmm. I do believe I have some old uh, works that could be revitalized. <laughs> Good. Because with this new power of mine, I would love to see the extent of it. Oh, you just really want training dummies? Of course. I just don't. I can't just go around slaughtering demons. Well, why well, slaughter angels and humans as well? What? Yes. I can start slaughtering eight. I can slaughter angels too. You can. But isn't that when I go to hell? You're a horseman. When you die, you just get brought back whenever the war is over. Or, at the very least, when you're being summoned again. Uh, you serious? That I am. Huh. Wait, this. Can I use to go back to Earth now? That you can. But. I mostly. You know. Time works differently here. How long have you been there? Well, it took me a while. So... Let's see. Uh, how long was I asleep? Well, considering you use so much energy, I say two months. <laughs> two months? Yes. Son of a bitch. <sighs> uh, so, what's the real time difference? Hmm. Let's see. It should be around two weeks. What? So, yes, month equals week. Oh, so I can do a month's worth of training in a week? In, I believe so. Just don't die. When, what if I do? You're going to wait until you're revived. Okay, interesting, fine, very least, thanks for the heads up. Your name again? Orthane Blackhammer. Huh, alright Orthane. Uh, I guess I'll see you soon enough, if I ever need a... A little, uh, pick-me-up or so. Just don't die, boy. <laughs> yeah, if anything, there's no way in hell. And Zuku, as soon as he appears back on her, he's in the warehouse that he got gunned down in. And he sees that the blood stains of his... His body are still there. 
only thing is like what the literal hell did he have the decency to clean up after the mess hmm that's just bad manners isn't it uh, oh well <sighs> What that matters. So, let's see. Two weeks, huh? Might as well tell my mom hi. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Why, how do I keep forgetting my mom? Seriously, so you gotta get your priorities in order. You gotta make sure she's still alive. Is upon him. Hang straight towards his apartment. He sees Inko crying over his obituary. <laughs> is oh, I wow. Should I? Should I drop such a bomb on her? Say, like, hey, mom, I'm alive. B B S. Uh, my people's actually betrayed me. So, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that might not bode well, so... Hmm. Shit, 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 shit. Um... You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck, 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 fuck. Um... How I gotta do this with the most... Uh... Uh... Sensitive way possible. Maybe, um, you know what? Fuck it. Him just knocking on the door. Ego, upon seeing him, Isuku? Hey, ma. Miss me? Her tackling him and hitting him for scaring her like that. As well, I was like, wait, but I saw by I buried a body. Well, let's just say uh, I'm harder to kill than you think. I came back. My prayers have been answered. What? Thank you, God. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about? It's like, I pray that you will come back to me. I believe that wholeheartedly that you would do such a thing and uh, I guess yeah someone was listening since I'm back here definitely please don't leave again in fact you're not allowed to leave this house what wait it's an apartment still you're not allowed to leave unless I'm with you but mom I gotta go I didn't get payback for people who offed me Yeah, don't worry. They're looking for the guys that jumped you. <sighs> really? Who is this they? She starts naming names. And says, Mom! They're the ones that killed me. What? Wait, but they're your friends. No, they ain't. They set me up so someone else can move in on my territory. What? Uh, um, <sighs> okay, uh, you're gonna learn about this sooner or later anyway, so, <clears throat> yeah, that job I said I have, it's not completely, um, it's not exactly as I told you before. I, I was part of a little gang. What? Let me finish. At first, it was just um, a little, a little, uh, you could say, protection, granting. You know, sometimes we we had to run some, some uh. You could say convincing elements as well as 
Wait, so you ran guns? No, <clears throat> I mean, protection. It, what else did you do? Well, <clears throat> drugs. What, what, what? Just, just a little substances that would not be classified as legal. But we would not sell the kids. We, I made that uh, a very sure thing that they we would not sell to minors at all. <clears throat> okay, so what else? Um, I I kind of don't want to tell you this part, but you're gonna find out sooner or later. I used to be a pimp. What? But I, but I, um, I changed my mind. I also have some cops in my pocket, but they are part of the whole thing when it came to offing me to. What? Hey, hold on, I'm not finished yet. But. Uh, it's okay. That, that life is... <sighs> I just want to get payback. And with this new power of mine... You got powers now? Oh yeah, I got powers. Then you can finally be a hero like you always wanted. Huh? Yes! I mean, now you, that you say that you're putting all this terribleness behind you, you can be a hero like you always wanted to be when you were younger. Before you learned you were corkless. Uh, Mom, I was a hero. I just... Um... How do I explain it? It doesn't matter. Now you can fulfill your dream. Being a hero. Right? I got some loose ends I need to tie up first, Ma. I can't just let them get away with offing me. You know that. I do, but I really don't want you getting hurt. Don't worry. Uh, I'll be sure to be safe. Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I. S Seriously. Does Miski know about this? Yes. What about her son? Uh. Oh, that's right. She, she had a kid not too long ago. Huh. <sighs> yeah, I can see that kid being one hell of a hero. <sighs> How old is he now? I forgot. Um. He's three. Huh. Any signs of a quirk? N no. So how's Miski and Koski doing? Well, upon hearing that you died, she seemed somewhat heartbroken. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, wait. Hmm. She, uh, heartbroken, you say? D explain. Heartbroken. Um, well. She seemed like she lost a part of herself. And she. Oh, no. What? Describe exactly how she acted. Well, she, like I said before, she had like she lost a part of herself, and she looked down at Koski, who, mm, he seemed more upset in a different way, like the thought of not being able to see you again. I gotta go. Wait, what? what? No, 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 no. I, I gotta go. Um, uh, thank you for this information. Okay, now some things are starting to make sense. 
As Zuko, he's running, he's thinking, oh my god, don't tell me I'm right. Please, god, don't tell me it. I'm thinking what I think I'm thinking. It's like, is that why she wanted me to be around the kids so much? As soon as he just knocks on the door, he sees Bisky holding Koski. It's like, who was it? Hey, Bisky.